हेलो एवरी वन एंड वंस अगेन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल सर्वर ज्ञान माई नेम इज डॉक्टर लॉकेंद्र सिंह एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट इंटरव्यू प्रोसेस रिलेटेड टू डेब ऑप्स और ए डब्ल्यू एस सो द वेरी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन ईयर इज दैल एस अबाउट योर सेल्फ सो वी नीड नॉट टू डिस्कस अबाउट दैट वॉट वी हैव डन इन एजुकेशन टर्म बिकॉज ऑब्वियसली दे हैव योर रिज्यूम एंड यू हैव ऑलरेडी मैंशन दैट यू हैव डन बी टेक बी कॉम बी एस सी और वॉट एवर सो नीड टू स्टार्ट विद लाइक हाई माई नेम इज लॉकेंद्र सिंह आई एम करेंटली एसोसिएटेड विद एक्स ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड आई हैव बीन वर्किंग विद दिस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन फॉर लास्ट मे बी टू ईयर्स एंड सो एंड सो फोर्थ ओके नाउ नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विल बी दैट हाउ डू यू स्टार्ट योर डे एट वर्क और मे बी टेल एस अबाउट योर डेली एक्टिविटीज सो थिंग इज लाइक इधर यू कैन एड दिस थिंग एडिशनली विद इन योर लाइक टेल एस अबाउट योर सेल्फ और इफ यू वॉन्ट इन एडिशन सो यू कैन वेट फॉर द क्वेश्चन टू बी आस्ट once there is a question before you and you need to answer it so how you are going to answer we are going to discuss that thing but before starting this video i'd like i would like to request you to please like share and subscribe to my channel and if you have any further question so please do write in comment box i shall be happy to assist you on that okay so you will have to answer this question like i start my day with checking emails and jira tickets based on requirement so either you can call it jira service tax OTRS or whatever ticketing tool you are using, you can mention that. Then after you will uh, add on new task that checking notification from monitoring system. So if you are into ops, DevOps or maybe Tech Ops, so based on your profile, you will have to ensure that there is no unattended and untouched notification lying within your system. If there is any, then you will have to fix it. Then ensuring that there is no critical alert unattended. if there is an alert generated from monitoring system and no one has acknowledged that alert yet so obviously that is your job either you can fix it yourself or you will have to escalate that to your senior up level then provide help and support to developers sometimes developers comes to devops team or maybe aws team maybe linux team that we need to get the software installed so that is your that is your responsibility to help them out either you can suggest them how to install or you can do it yourself so based on that you can decide that what should be your answer that i provide and support i i provide help and support developers okay then providing support to production servers if there is an ongoing issue on production environment then you will be responsible for that and you will be fixing the things okay then create jenkin jobs for deployment if new component is going to go live if there is a new environment created if there is a new server so if you need to modify your jenkin servers configuration like you need to add on a couple of more servers into it like you need to modify existing job or you need to create new so that is your day to day task then after automation admin repetitive task if an admin is performing task same task every day the admin is performing so being an aws or maybe dev devops guy so your primary responsibility has to be there that you will automate that task okay then supporting existing infra and creating new servers all the servers which are existing within your environment then you will sub provide support for them and create new servers for example if there is a new development going on and you need to provide servers for development as well as you will decide that what operating system is required what is going to be size of hard disk which is required there obviously you can have a discussion with developers but yes finally you are you are going to decide that what type of software will be running on that and how to install and everything so that will be your task then after deploying code on dev and prod servers based on the requirement and based on the particular scenario you will deploy your code maybe you can explain here that you are using jenkin pipeline maybe you are you can say that you are using jenkin freestyle job and rest of things you can mention here based on your current environment then after checking for proper approvals before code release before you initiate for any deployment onto production environment there should be proper approvals so that approvals are like ua treatments user acceptance test quality assurance test security approval should be there and moreover your tech team it means maybe devops had approval or maybe tech ops had approval should be there reason being if these approvals are not in place so maybe going forward devops team can say or maybe tech ops team can say that we do not know that what is going to happen here and what type of servers are required we have not uh, any further discussion or any previous discussion on this so checking for proper approvals before code release that has also to be a task of devops team okay now you can mention that i'm responsible for build and release process build and release means that when a developer commits the code to git 
and you need to ensure that the code which you have pushed to server you have an artifact for that that definitely what was previous code and what is existing then after devops team has to be responsible for ensuring that every branch wherever the latest code has to be committed so who has authority to commit the particular code into that branch it means code merging has to be with limited access only specific maybe project project manager or maybe the development manager or maybe some team leads who are really authenticated for the merge for merging code into that specific branch so that has to be controlled by devops team moreover managing user access on resources so resources like github maybe bitbucket or maybe your your source code management tool who has what access how many users will have read, read and write access how many will have only read only access so that has to be managed by devops team so it means you will grant as well as you will revoke access based on the requirement then after managing git branching how many branches should be there what branch will be specific for what what environment maybe you have a dev branch where from developers will commit their code into dev branch and that branch will be pushed to development servers if there is a staging branch then there could be a pre prod maybe beta or maybe any other environment where you need to ensure that things are working properly and code is synced into main branch post release then after automation you uh, you can say that you are using jenkins or maybe ansible maybe chef or puppet whatever tool you are using so you can include that tool but be ready that there will be couple of more questions on the top of those tools whatever you are going to say so let us say if you are going to say jenkins the like what version of jenkins you are using how do you install jenkins what are the type of jobs you can create maybe freestyle pipeline folder multi uh, multi branching obviously so these sort of questions you should be ready with then after what is difference between dec uh, declarative and scripted pipelines how, like how do we write playbooks and ansible how do you manage servers how does ansible work like what are the modules we have used in jenkins as well as in uh, git oh, sorry and in jenkins and ansible so these sort of questions you should be ready with because right now you are telling about your responsibility and if you are responsible for any sort of these things then you should be knowing about it that how do these things work in internal then after server and application support for sure being devops you are supposed to provide support for application as well as server for server means if there is a disk space issue if there is high load server not responding your website is not opening maybe there is a uh, like any response code maybe 502 503 504 403 maybe 401 so why these uh, like uh, response codes are coming and how do you fix it maybe with the help of developers or you can fix it on your own so server and application support is task of yours because obviously when you are telling about your responsibility then you will have to be ready with couple of more things here for example that what is your approach for troubleshooting like there is a particular application they can give you a scenario that my application is not responding properly then what particular point will you start tracking from so obviously first of all you will check your uh, top level it means you will check your application if that is working fine then you will check the database you will check the connectivity and uh, if everything is working fine you will check whether the hits are coming on to your server or not you will check logs first of all of application server then after if there is a middle layer then do those logs you will check then after database so this is how you are going to answer these questions and ensuring backup and creating backup policy so the servers which are running into production so backup has to be there so is backup being taken properly do you have proper backup in place if there are some compliance issues or you need to meet some compliance standard then you have to ensure that how long backup you want what is size of your backup and what is retention period of backup so these are the things which you need to ensure when you are talking about your daily roles and responsibilities fine so i hope this is it for this video guys thank you so very much for watching have a good time happy learning if you have any further questions so please do write in comment box i shall be happy to assist you on that thank you very much have a good time and happy learning thank you